Retouching photos using AI. As a creative professional, you often wear many hats. It's a classic jack of all trades, master of none situation. You're expected to manage tasks that at higher levels, entire teams handle. For me, one of the tasks is photo retouching. While I am not a professional retoucher, I have been a professional photographer for over 15 years. And during that time, I've retouched photos and even been paid for them. On the flip side, I've also worked with professional retouchers and I can see that the benefit of how they elevate my work compared to what I can do on my own. With advancements in technology, especially AI, we as photographers now have new tools that can support our work. Now, when retouch for me reached out to collaborate, I thought it was a great fit as I had already been using their um, plugins for some time. You can check on this channel. I've done another editing video on that. Um, this is not a sponsored video, but if you'd like to support this channel, check out my affiliate link below. Now, the main way I use these plugins is to create a polished image quickly when the client needs a fast turnaround. Um, and then in this video, I'll show you my workflow on how to use these plugins and tying it into a recent photo shoot that I just did. Now, the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is obviously go in the Lightroom, do your edits, you know, balance your exposure. For me, I like to, you know, add some of my creative looks, my LUTs, stuff like that, presets. Um, and then once I do that, I import the image into Photoshop and that's where we get started. Now, the first thing I do is I duplicate the image. This allows me to toggle between the before and after, after each step. So we'll do that right now. And then the next thing I do is I use Retouch For Me's Clean Backdrop plugin. This Retouch For Me plugin uh, allows you to kind of automatically detect and remove dirt, um, small folds, dust um, from the background, and it basically makes the background more smooth. Um, you can adjust the settings when you're in there to kind of have it like analyze small dirt or bigger dirt or bigger marks or stuff like that. And this is really just a tool for the background. So that's what we're gonna run right now. This image I have right here, beautiful image I shot uh, with a model named Emily, and we're gonna use clean backdrop. And it should kind of run. And then if you see right here, we have different options. We can do fine dirt, medium dirt, coarse dirt, basically whatever your backdrop you know, like has, like you can go from there and kind of just have that going. So I think it did a pretty good job. We're gonna push apply. And if you look at the before and after, if you look at this area right here, you can see it really did a good job of just kind of clearing that backdrop, but it also kind of worked a little bit on the clothing. I don't mind it right there because it's not a big deal. But if you really want to, I would isolate, you know, the model, um, you know, make a mask on the model and then just have it run on the background. The next plugin we're gonna use is the Heal plugin from Retouch For Me. Um, this helps with minor skin imperfections. This plugin is great for removing like obvious blemishes. Um, after I use this plugin, I usually go in with my Wacom tool and get rid of the bigger blemishes. But this is a great one just for like the small ones to make it look a little bit more natural uh, and get rid of like the more obvious blemishes. So we're gonna use that right now. Go to Heal. With this one, you can, you can adjust the sensitivity. Um, I usually just keep it at 100, and I think it does a pretty good job there. And then we're going to apply it. Uh, and then if you go click close up to the image, like if we go close, close up to her face, you'll see it got rid of a little bit of the blemishes. This actually is kind of like a beauty mark, so I'll probably end up bringing that back into the image. Easiest way to do it is just take a razor tool, get rid of it, there you go. One of the most impactful steps is using the Dodge and Burn plugin. This acts as like a airbrush, smoothing out the skin textures, the under eye circles, unflattering shadows. So we go to Retouch For Me and we go to Dodge and Burn. It's actually my favorite plugin um, out of all of them and have it analyze. So we apply it. So then when we go deep into it, you'll see that it kind of smoothed out the skin. It kind of gave it an airbrush look, a more airbrush look. I like the way it looks on that image. Now, the next step I would use on this image is I would use the portrait volumes. Now, this plugin is very interesting because it's similar to like a dodge and burn. The portrait vo volumes plugins enhances the depth. Um, it kind of highlights the eyes and the face. 
um, it kind of makes shadows darker and highlights brighter. Um, this is another one where I usually dial it back after I use it. And also be mindful when you're using the Portrait Volumes plugin, it can affect the clothing in the background because it's really just taking kind of like the highlights and brightening them up and the, and the shadows and darkening them um, and kind of bringing kind of like a contrast there. So just be mindful of that. So when you use it, um, maybe just bring down the opacity and the layers tab and kind of go from there. And if we zoom into the image, you'll see it's kind of just enhancing these shadows kind of bringing a little bit of a contour to the face and I really like it. So I actually will end up keeping that at full, at, uh, at full output, I guess, or full, um, the full effect on that one. My next step from here is I would probably just add some grain and this would be a really cool edit for um, a client or a, uh, you know, like agency, something that's not so, or social media, something that's not so, has to be so like um, high end and professionally retouched. Retouch for me also offers plugins for brightening eyes, reducing shine, and widening teeth, all designed to make retouching faster and easier. While these plugins don't replace a professional retoucher, they're valuable tools that help us, you know, as creatives. Um, the plugins are also reasonably priced. If you want to try them out, you can always download them and purchase them individually, or you can actually use Retouch for me's um, own subscription service where you pay monthly. Um, and use their cloud-based panel that allows you to access about 10 retouching plugins. Either way, I think they're both great moves. Me personally, I would rather just buy all the plugins myself and have them. Once again, if you want to support this channel and try these tools yourself, check out the affiliate link below. And also let me know if you have any questions about photography or videography in the comments below. Thanks for watching and I will see you next time. Peace.